back, everybody. It's easy. Joining you Saturday morning. Nice cup of coffee. This is one of those videos where I show you my base and all the defenses that I've got on this base. Um, it, it, if you've been around for a while, you can recognize this base. This was one of Jake from One Hive's bases a long time ago. I adapted it a long time ago, made some changes to it, and this is a fantastic base for several reasons. And in this first video, I'm going to show you what several giant bombs in one location will do to a raid. Now, I know that this is a tactic that a lot of people don't like to use because if you overpower one part of the base with all of your traps, then it leaves the rest of the base open. But I'm here to tell you, if you overpower certain parts of your base in your village, they don't get a second shot at it. So, they run over the giant bombs. I have five in one location. They run over the giant bombs, they, uh, the whole army dies, and they don't get another shot at it. It's not like war where they get to try again. So I would strongly suggest that you make several parts of your base, your, your home village, with these overpowering areas with your traps. Um, especially your giant bombs and especially your Tesla towers. Those two, those two are, are, are huge areas of defense that you can focus on in, in defending your base. Now in this one right here, they had a chance to take five or 6,000 Dark Elixir. Uh, they got 700. So, I mean, that's a, that was a big score for me. I mean, when you save yourself five or 6,000 Dark Elixir, uh, that's just like going to get it. So, that, and that was from uh, all of their Valkyries and Giants. Straight over five giant bombs. Now, this next video, this next clip is, this, this primarily shows what happens when you group up your Tesla towers. Uh, we call it a Tesla farm. Now this is not necessarily your traditional Tesla farm. A, a traditional Tesla farm is when uh, it, it, it's part of a, an anti three star base where you'll have town hall on one side of the base and then you'll have the Tesla farm which is four Teslas all grouped together on the other side of the base. So the players have to decide to either A, go through town hall and then risk not being able to have enough strength at the end of the attack to handle the Tesla farm or go through the Tesla farm first and risk not having enough uh, of your troops left at the end of the raid to take Town Hall. Um, now in this case I have all four Teslas in the core uh, right there with uh, the Inferno Tower. So watch what happens as the balloons and as, and as everything comes in to, towards the core. Um, the air defenses I have uh, intentionally put them right up next to the uh, Inferno Towers. So you have Inferno Towers burning on the, the Lava Hounds as the balloons approach, you have this multi inferno tower hitting everything. All the pups come out, the inferno tower stretches out and gets them all. And then, as soon as the balloons get a little closer, here comes the Tesla towers and they just slam on all these balloons. They never really stood a chance. So, again, grouping up your defenses and, and, and key parts of your base, that is the way to go. Now, you see, he used a, he used a freeze spell. Elite players can get around some of this stuff, uh, especially when you group up your Teslas next to your Inferno Towers. If they came in with two freeze spell, uh, I could have been in trouble. But this is a farm raid, and you're just not going to get the exact right player with the exact right spell composition coming across your base all the time. If this was a war attack, they could have watched what happened just then, and then made uh, alterations to their attack and come right through the core of the base with uh, a couple of freeze spells. But they don't get a second chance. So... I'm not saying do this on your war base. This is not the best idea on your war base. You don't want to have five giant bombs in one location in your war base. Unless maybe it's in the core of the base to where they no longer have control of their troops. There are parts of your base where it's all on the computer intelligence. It's not on the player's actions as much. And uh, you know, by the time all the troops are in the core, all they have are spells left. They can't drop troops in the core. It's in a no drop zone. Okay, so as we're getting into the next attack, I think I stalled out uh, in between here, but uh, I've done so much editing to this video. I'm trying some new things. Um, if you've watched a bunch of my videos, uh, I've been trying, you know, I'm, I'm, this is my learning process, my learning curve. We have, right now we have under 100 subs, so I know that I, I, I don't have a bunch of people watching every video, although I do thank those of you that do watch, because I do have 50 or 60 guys that uh, have been loyal to the channel already. And for, for those of you who have done that, thank you very much. We're trying to get up to 100, try to get our own URL, try to get our name out there. 
and uh, this first year for us is going to be pretty big. So I, I just want to take a second to thank everyone for that. Um, so anyway, got some new things going on in this video. Um, I'm trying. I'm trying all these new. different ways to present the video ways to prevent the to present the information so next video is another example of of the giant bombs and on my on this base here what I've done is overpowered the left side of the base with giant bombs and then I've kind of overpowered the right side of the base with the uh, spring traps so if they come in on the right side they have all the spring traps eight of them are over there and uh, now, if they come into the right side with with golems and Pekka, I'm I'm out of luck. They'll run right over them, and they'll and it will do nothing to them. And then all those traps are are pretty much useless. But if they come in with giants on the right side, well, they're gonna all get sprung. Now, what they've done here is they've come in through the bottom, and they've cleaned out the bottom kind of nicely. They and this is a very common. I see this. This is a very common attempt on this base. They'll come in through the bottom. They'll open up the bottom. And then what will happen is when they put in the, their, the second line of troops, they don't go to the middle because there's nothing to draw them there. It's too, too much space there. And they'll, they'll hook a left or a right. And in this case, uh, one Valkyrie went to the middle. Another ten of them or so went to the left. And they put, a, they put a rage spell on them, a heal spell on them. So they run right straight into five giant bombs. And you see the clan castle troops are getting up over them. All the giant bombs go off and there they go. Done. They, they can't survive that. They can't survive four giant bombs back to back. Never mind five. So, another. Uh, they, and if you see, they they still got something. You know, you can't prevent these these people from taking everything. They're gonna get something on your base most of the time. But if they can, if they only get twenty percent of the resources, I'm happy. Okay, now we're going down to a smaller town hall. This is a little easy's base. And in this uh, in this example here, this is how important the clan castle troops are to these lower town hall levels. If you've noticed, my town hall is not in the middle of this base. We have the clan castle pretty much centered. I have the uh, clan castle and the dark lifts are centered. Uh, so it takes them a while before they trigger the clan castle troops. They're already kind of deep in the base. They've got a bunch of troops coming in. And now these troops, I mean, you can get three star by a bunch of giants and wizards. Believe me, it, it happens all the time. But they're so deep in the base that the wizards don't have a chance to get up over the balloons. And the balloons drop on the giants. And before you know it, there are four or five giants left. And all the giants are gone. There's only a few wizards left going around the outside. The wizards ran right into a giant bomb on the outside of the base. Uh, on your lower town hall levels, remember, they're going to have to clean up the outside of the base too. They don't usually bring a P.E.K.K.A. or a golem around the outside. The golem will go straight into the walls. P.E.K.K.A.s will run around the outside. But uh, you don't see a lot of those farming, really. And uh, so they bring the wizards around the outside. They hit one giant bomb. They all die. And uh, got, got the balloon up over the core. Just drop it on every single one of the giants. The giants go right around the dark elixir. They don't do anything to the dark elixir. And there it goes. They don't get the st they don't get uh, town hall. They don't get 50%. They don't get the, the dark elixir. Those are the three things that they really want to try to do. So quick video. Just wanted to show another uh, another defense video, I kind of expose my base again, but that's okay. If you're lucky enough to get me after you watch my video, have at it. <laughs> Alright, uh, thanks for watching guys. If you haven't subbed to the channel, sub to the channel for me. Like the video. Until next time, this has been Easy. Take care everybody.